The mannequin in the khaki shirt and face shield is in Category 2 arc-rated clothing and is in a normal position to do work on the box. The mannequin in the black shirt, our female mannequin, is the supervisor or helper. She's wearing 100% cotton clothing, and as you can clearly see, she's several feet further away from the arc. We'll roll our slow motion first. As you can see, the arc does impact the female mannequin, but only barely before retreating again. In real time, as you can see, she's instantly on fire. So that arc was more than enough to ignite that flammable clothing, even though she was at a significantly greater distance, particularly than the left shoulder of the mannequin. We'll look at it head on and get an even better look at the consequences. You have a massive fire on the one hand and protection on the other. The contrast here is about as stark as it gets. Despite the greater distance and despite the fact that she's further to the right, she's fully engulfed in flame. A little bit of a lower angle now to get another look at the same event. And you can see just how far down the body of that fire starts and progresses around to the back of the mannequin. Again, the consequences couldn't be more obvious. The arc-rated shirt has done its job. The flammable clothing, of course, has ignited and continued to burn to the point where it blistered the mannequin even though she's covered in flame-resistant epoxy. The conclusion here is obvious. If you're anywhere near an arc flash, whether you're the one doing the active work or not, you should be in the appropriate arc-rated clothing head to toe. On the right, the mannequin that was appropriately clothed would have no body burn predicted through the garments. On the left, the mannequin that was in flammable clothing because she wasn't as close to the arc would have suffered at least 50 to 60% second and third degree body burn and almost certainly also lung damage. Please, don't approach anybody working on or near energized electrical equipment unless you have to be there and you're in the appropriate PPE.